OK, to events in Ukraine now, where the country's president has warned of a global food shortage if the Russian blockade on its ports isn't lifted. Vladimir Zelensky said the bombardment of Odessa, which is on the Black Sea coast, was preventing grain shipments leaving. He was backed up by the president of the European Council, who visited the city and said a global response was needed. From Ukraine, our correspondent John Ray has the latest. The Black Sea port of Odessa is a prize coveted by President Putin, and though it remains far beyond the reach of his troops, it is well within the range of Russian airstrikes, including hypersonic missiles that destroyed a warehouse and shopping center. In the still smoldering light of day, they found one dead and five injured. There was no military target here, the mayor insisted, just a place of relaxation. But the city is of huge strategic worth to Ukraine and to the wider world. The main maritime link for its global grain exports, now stuck in silos by a Russian naval blockade, President Zelensky called on the international community to break. Without our agricultural exports, dozens of countries are already on the brink of food shortages, he warned. And over time, the situation could become downright terrible. In Brussels, there are fears of a food crisis to come. Ukraine is the wheat basket of, of Europe, and it's sitting on 8 billion euros worth of wheat right now from last year's harvest. They cannot export it. They have no access to the sea. This is one of the key, I key issues that we must address. With sea routes blocked, we filmed long queues of trucks both sides of the land border with Poland, a slender artery on which Ukraine's survival depends. While in the east, Russia's advance is even slower. Ukraine claims these pictures show an enemy tank destroyed. Last night over Moscow, the climax of celebrations to mark their victory day, and crowds enjoyed a display of Russian fireworks. While in Odessa, they were forced to endure another night of Russian firepower. Such are the sharp contrasts of neighbors at war with consequences for us all. John Ray, ITV News, Lviv.